Wars Battle for Twos adds a really fun hunt mode letting you play as native species to plants in the Star Wars galaxy with anything from sand people on Tatooine to Wampas on Hoth. But has anyone ever asked what are the best? Well today guys, let's find out what hunt factions are the best and which ones are the worst. Today we are going to be ranking all the hunt factions in Star Wars Battlefront 2. The worst hunt faction in Battlefront 2, surprisingly absolutely nobody, would be the Gungans. They just do not have any weapon and a fusion cutter. All they have is a grenade, which is limited by the way. Having this this gets them annihilated in comparison to the super battle droids. Because they're fighting one, they're fighting super battle droids. Like, come on. And as second, you're just throwing nades at an infantry that has fully auto weapon with wrist rockets. Everything about them is just better. There's no strategy. The best strategy is to get in the turrets and try and win that way. If you can win as the Gungans, it's a freaking miracle even against computers. Next would be the Ewoks. The rocks and sticks are fine for taking out scout troops, mostly because the rifle is just too slow, but most of the times the troopers will beat the Ewoks pretty badly. The Ewoks have slow movement, a slow cooldown time in between both the sticks and the rocks, and overall their hitboxes are just horrible with both weapons. You have to be like really close to the guys to hit them, and even then, it's just, yeah, you're going to get killed if you're that close to them. And I get it's like a sniper, but still, if they have good enough aim, you're going to get wrecked. You're only good in numbers. Ewoks suck. The Jin Oceans are an okay hunt faction, but their gun just takes way too long to kill, taking like three shots, and it feels like it does not have a critical point. And having the wings like a jetpack is pretty cool, but it also makes it like an easy target to hit because they're all just sniping, for one. And you move, don't move fast enough where it's not easy to hit you, right? So like, they're okay. Again, they're just good in numbers. If you kind of team up on the clones one at a time, you'll get them. But for the most part, they, they're pretty shit, let's be honest. The Jawas, I feel like, are better than most people say. Although that is not saying much because they're again, only good in numbers. Like, like most hunt factions. I do like that they have the shock weapon similar to the Dark Trooper, although they're so slow that it really puts them down. The movement is just horrendously slow and they're jumping. Everything about them is just slow, right? And their weapons are okay in that, but for the most part, you're just gonna get wrecked because the Tuscans just have such better weapons than you that your best strategy is just to stick together and hope that you can win. Most of the time, like I said, you're gonna get them. The Wookiees are another good faction being the third best in the game. They have a lot of health like the typical Wookiee does in Star Wars Battlefront. And the Bowcaster is a good long range weapon. And being able to fix turrets with a fusion cutter is great. Probably the best thing about all of them is the turrets that you have available to you because they have such good range and power. And the um, Magna Guards are going to have a hard time taking care of them because their missile launcher could be a little bit clumsy at longer ranges, right? Another thing, too, is you're playing against the AI. The Magna Guards are pretty dumb and they'll a lot of times just be on the recon droid. So, therefore, you'll just, you know, you just own them most of the time because they're idiots. And uh, the, I, I do feel like they probably get owned by the Magna Guard if you play a little bit more with the Magna Guard because their grenade launcher is just so damn powerful. But at the same time, a huge number of Wookiees coming at once could be scary. So pretty good faction overall, I must say. Uh, third best in the game. The Tuscan Raiders are the most fun hunt faction to play in the game, if you ask me. Um, they outclass the Jawas by quite a bit. And if you want to be an ass, you can camp on the high ground and show the Jawas that they were your brother and you love them by destroying them and making Obi-Wan proud. And their weapons are just, they're so much fun to use. The beam rifle is a great time. The semi-auto rifle is a great time. They honestly just will not stand a chance if you, you just stay far away from them because their weapons, the Jawas I mean, have such little range. And a lot of the times, if, like I said, they're only good in groups, so just stay the fuck away from them, stay on high ground. You'll just own their asses. And even when you don't do that, you just kind of back up kind of thing. You'll be fine for the most part. The Tuscans, stay for the head. Again, the Tuscans are just so good. And surprising nobody, the Wampas are the best hunt faction in Battlefront 2, as they are basically a nerf Jedi. They move fast, have, fa have a one-hit move that is fast and a ton of health, and are insane. Their dash attack is deadly. The fast movement makes them very hard to hit, and they have so much health that the chance to get killed if you just spam the dash attack is so unlikely, and one time it's kind of unfair. Go for the turrets, and you'll just absolutely destroy the Rebels.